It is a truly remarkable roster of riders who've come along to the Volta a Catalunya. Well, with the classics season very much underway, what is there for those who are thinking about Grand Tours? Well, there is this race, certainly, to start us off. Finding out your form, and indeed, not only of yourself, but of those who you are racing against, is a very useful thing. And today, opening with a rough start to a very tough race, 164.6 kilometres in length, out from saint felieu de Gouchol and then back again, including a final circuit featuring two intermediate sprints and plenty of climbing. Of course, that's what defines this race. Five took on the break and it was a strong breakaway as well. Haragots from Intermarchi Circus. We had Oscar Onley from Team DSM. Demarki from Jayco. Miguel as well from Kern Farmer and Yetzabol from Burgos BH. In fact, there were mountains points up for grabs and they were busy sharing those amongst themselves. Uscatel, who'd missed the break, wanted to be involved late on and thought about bridging, but they pushed on once again. Those who were up front and indeed Kern Farmer's Paul Miguel taking that penultimate climb to deny Yetzabol. Into time we came and we were reminded about just how tough the inclines are in the last 500 metres. The breakaway itself was starting to fracture. The two who tried to bridge from Uscatel were captured. And in fact, we were well inside the final circuit when Yetzabol rolled unchallenged over the line to make sure he's in the mountains jersey at the end of the day. Bigger fish to fry, a high-paced introduction along the harbour side before, of course, yet more climbing. Little ramps, really, apart from anything else, but nasty gradients of around about 6% very, very late on. So a breakaway was done for inside the last six kilometres and then the pace picked up and this not a nice sight riders cast asunder still waiting for medical reports on everybody hoping they're okay meanwhile our focus turned once again to our finale into town they came with various corners to contend with but that final pickup to the line was must have felt like a mountain Roglic went for it, had Evanapol finally upon his wheel. Ethan Hayter was in the frame as well. Evanapol trapped too far back by the corners, really made a great vault up on the barriers. Space did open up for him, but he had to work the road an awful lot, and all the while, Roglic himself was heading straight for the line. Shoulder to shoulder they were once they crossed it, but Roglic took it, the world champion, bashing his bars in frustration at the line. Our leader, the Tirreno Adriatico winner, Primus Roglic. Evan Apol, though, got close, was the fastest finisher, but was out of position and not happy. Roglic offering up commiserations. Evan Apol getting used to the idea he'll be wearing the young rider's jersey, which is the orange bands. Roglic in the green ribbons of the winner and leader of this race. Bonus seconds notwithstanding, we go to that very, very high ground tomorrow and it's a four second gap between Roglic and Evanapol, Schelling, Van Hills, Ciccone. It was how they finished today. And this is tomorrow. Similar distance, 165.4 kilometres, but with an enormous test at the end. In fact, the highest point of this year's Volta Ciclista a Catalunya. We've been here before and we know all about Volta and it does feel like a wall towards the end. Punishing inclines and an altitude of 2,135 metres above sea level, well above 6,000 feet. Aircraft function very happily at this level. We'll see how the riders do tomorrow. Amazing scenes and an amazing day on an amazing race which goes on tomorrow. <laughs>